hi. Sorry for the wind. You'll just have to put up with it. I want to talk about why I like Vimeo more than YouTube. First off, Vimeo is much smaller. You might say, well, why is that a good thing? Well, who remembers what YouTube was like in 2005 and 2006? Do any of you remember that? Yeah, that's more like what Vimeo is like. Vimeo also has a good business plan. They have had a good business plan from the start. You know, if you barely make any videos at all, and they're all very low quality, and you don't pay Vimeo for your content, you know, you're not costing them much bandwidth to upload, nor for people to watch your videos. But you're still kind of like advertising their product. If you want to put out, you know, uh, producing-wise, uh, more higher quality stuff, you know, high def stuff, 60 frames per second stuff, 4K stuff, yeah, you gotta pay them some money. They also have methods, other methods, that you can make money there, but it's not just this simple thing like, uh, uh, you know, having these ads put on your videos. The way that YouTube has had set up their whole method of people making money was a guaranteed fail for small channels from the start. It was a bad business plan from the start. If Google wanted to make ads the method of people, of, of Google making money, they should have had ads on everyone's videos. But that would require that they moderate some videos, that they do some moderation, that it's not just a completely unmoderated uh, medium. Google uh, uh, has let YouTube be the 4chan of video sharing sites. Yeah, it's real popular, but nasty arguments, nasty treatment, bullying, and harassment are king on YouTube. The more nasty you are, the more popular you are. That's how it works. Now, you also make some enemies at the same time, but look how, look how much Pat Condell's videos are viewed on YouTube. Look how much Atheism is Unstoppable's videos are viewed on YouTube. Just look at it. On Vimeo, they have standards. On Vimeo, they don't care about nudity. On Vimeo, they have more of the standards that you'd expect from uh, ratings systems uh, for movies and television in Europe. They don't want massive amounts of violence. They don't want people to be really, really nasty to each other. So, somewhere like Vimeo, Pat Condell gets banned because most of Pat Condell's comments are making just really, really nasty statements about entire groups of people. They're not very well reasoned, but, oh, he's putting humor into it, so that makes all the difference. Uh, no, not really. Okay. But someone like Stefan Molyneux, his stuff stays up on Vimeo. Stefan Molyneux has a Vimeo channel. Um, 
Vimeo isn't so nasty about copyright stuff. You can have a 5 or 10 second clip of a song, and it's not going to be taken down through a DMCA. You, know, you shouldn't have the whole song on there, but you can have some little clips of it and not worry about issues. Um, you know, fair use is actually okay there. And just to be sure, I asked the staff of Vimeo, and they gave me a nice thorough answer. Um, they basically described it as this, okay? You can talk about any subject you want, but you have to be reasonable about it. You know, if you want to talk about problems with the uh, priests in the, in the Catholic Church molesting children, you know, it, you can go into details about what's happened in the Catholic Church you can try to get, uh, talk about the cultures uh, that are surrounding priests in the Catholic Church, but you can't just sit there and say that Catholics are baby rapers. Okay, if you say that Catholics are baby rapers, yeah, your video will probably be deleted. And if, if those are the only kind of videos you show that you can upload, yeah, your, your account will probably be terminated. Okay. You can have reasonable discussions about things, about any subject, really. You just have to be reasonable about it. And you know what? I think that's great. In the comment sections, you can't just bully and harass people on Vimeo. You have to give reasonable uh, arguments. You have to be decent. Wow, what a concept! Moderated comment sections. Oh, it's so terrible, it's, it's, it goes against freedom of speech. But you know what? If you want to have the freedom to be a complete and utter asshole, stay on YouTube, stay on the 4chan of video sharing sites. Go ahead, just stay on it. Like I said, the only videos I plan on really making on YouTube are if I have some sort of life update, major life update, or if I have some new music. YouTube isn't worth it. It's not worth getting frustrated over. You know, I have a thick skin, but it eventually gets tiresome having to deal with all that shit all the time. These anonymous fuckwads on YouTube. It gets old. Now, are there very many people? Are there nearly as many people on Vimeo? No. And I don't have that much of a following on, on Vimeo. I'm getting following for different reasons, because they don't have a problem with nudity. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I like Vimeo. I like it a lot. They have a good business model. They have their, their, it's moderated. It's small enough that they can moderate decently. The actual staff of Vimeo can look over someone's video and decide whether it's appropriate or not. They're not unreasonable with the way that they moderate videos. Um, in Menham, uh, Gary, okay, they were deleting his videos. Now, do you think he's a reasonable person? Do you think he makes reasonable arguments? Or do you think he's just sort of like Pat Condell in that regard? Well, he's kind of like Pat Condell in that regard. So if all you want to do is put out hateful messages and be just nasty with you to each other, stick with YouTube. Enjoy. Have fun.
enjoy it.